So one of the big things that we're trying to do here is to reduce the total energy expenditure that we have for this material. And if we can do that, that means it's just going to be that much more sustainable for us. My name is Kevin Shinners. I'm an agricultural engineer from the University of Wisconsin. And my role in the SEN USA research project is to develop new systems to harvest, handle, store and transport perennial grasses that will be used as a biomass feedstock. So how are we going to accomplish that broad objective? We're going to try to increase the drying rate of the crop to reduce weather related losses. We're going to try to eliminate non-value added steps in the field. We're going to try to size reduce the crop at the time of harvest to not only add value but also to reduce processing needed in the biorefinery. We're going to try to reduce the exposure to the elements of the material in storage to try to conserve its value and we're going to try to increase its bulk density so that we're always achieving weight limited transport as we move the material from storage to the biorefinery. Clearly uh, producers in the past when they looked at harvesting switchgrass they looked at using the typical hay and forage techniques that they've always used. Cut it, bale it, move the bales around. High yielding biomass grasses will be harvested in the fall when ambient temperatures are low and daylight length is short. Although these grasses dry well, anything that can be done to reduce the drying time not only improves productivity, but also reduces losses and expenses when the crop is exposed to adverse weather. Switchgrass, as you can see, has a thick, heavy stem that can be difficult to dry. So what we're doing with this particular machine is intensively conditioning that crop. You can see we've disrupted the physical nature of the stem and that's going to allow moisture to more readily leave that stem and dry more quickly. Besides intensive conditioning, the other part of improving the drying process of high yielding grasses is to completely use all the sun's energy that reaches the ground. To accomplish that, we ted the grasses to spread them across every square foot of the field rather than trying to dry them in narrow windrows. You saw several things today, including cutting, tedding, and intensive conditioning. Those are three separate operations, as you saw. That can't be uh, in the future. We're going to have to combine those steps into one operation in order to really get that to be cost effective. One of the aspects of this particular project we're working on is trying to increase the density of the bale. And one of the ways we're doing that is to use a pre-cutter on the baler. You can see that this pre-cutter dramatically reduces the size of the material as it goes into the bale. That's going to make the bale easier to handle inside the, the biorefinery and hopefully increase the density of the bale as well. Rather than tub grinding bales inside the biorefinery, we're using this forage harvester to chop this material very finely at the time of harvest. This not only adds value to the material, but hopefully it will eliminate a process inside the biorefinery. And you can see how dramatically small we can make that material at the instant we harvest the material. That's going to be the, a really big challenge for us in the future, is to take that chopped material that has a lot of value associated with it, but then put it into a package that's going to be economically stored and transported. Sure. An expense too often neglected when considering the cost of bale grasses is collecting and transporting the bales. We are working on ways to aggregate bales during baling so that they are strategically grouped to reduce field traffic and loading time. When we talk about reducing energy, it takes a lot of fuel to do all of these operations, to bale, to cut, to uh, move bales, to transport the material. So for instance, we may be looking at ways to uh, size reduce in the field so that we can eliminate tub grinding, which is a very energy intensive process. We're looking at aggregating bales so we don't have to travel so far in the field to move them. We're looking at increasing the bulk density of the material so we're always achieving weight limited transport. That means just less fuel expended to get the material to the biorefinery. All of those things are gonna add up to lower energy requirements and hopefully not only uh, more sustainable system, but also a more profitable system as well.